Hello and welcome to another episode of ZapChat. And the observant among you might have realised that Yanis isn't here, instead of being joined by Antero. So there's a couple of reasons for this. One, Yanis has got a new job at the Hellenic National Cyber Security Authority, which we're delighted for him, um, which means he's very busy. Um, I'm sure we'll be back before too long. Uh, but I also wanted uh, this opportunity to introduce Antero to everyone. So Antero, uh, take it away. Hi, hi guys. Thanks, uh, thanks for for getting me here and letting me be part of this this project. So my name is Antero Silva. I'm a product manager at Checkmarks, and we recently have now the core team of Zap onboarded into our world and into our uh, our company. And yeah, and I'm glad to be part of this journey and helping on the Zap open source project in you know focusing on the future and you know helping out Simon and the core team on addressing what we should be focusing on first. That's the main current goal for, for me within the Zap project. Brilliant. Uh, yeah. uh, I mean, basically, the way we worked out what to work on before was very much kind of finger in the air, what do we think is most important? And until last year, the only person I had to worry about was myself because I'm the only person I could tell to do anything because everybody else is a volunteer. Um, Last year, Ricardo was able, able to join full time, as many of you know. So it ended up with self and Ricardo going, what do you think we should focus on? Um, so that's been the process. Now we've obviously got Rick joining as well. And working out what you should do is actually really hard. Project management is just one of those things that are take a lot of time and a lot of experience. And we've now got Antero to do this, which is great. So that <laughs> saves a lot of hassle. Um, but obviously this is, I mean, Antero's got, um kind of two views on this um as the same as i have as well because one is we're looking at check marks customers but two a very important aspect is everybody else using zap and you know you're not forgotten and exactly. that's a very important part of this zap is a community project and we want people to get involved and we want to do things that actually you want us to do so antero can you explain kind of the the the, the, the new process or the, the way we will work Exactly. No worries. So uh, I'll start managing the, the Zap projects as I'm managing another open source project, which is Kix for IC security, which the premises is basically the same. We do have an open source project and then we have the enterprise solution uh, within check marks. So our intention with Zap, it's the same. Zap is an open source project. It's going to be a community project and we have no intention of changing that. Uh, uh, in the near or long term future, there's no intention of, of changing that. So the roadmap is basically constructed upon feedback. That's our main source of knowledge, right? So I, I, I've been in a lot of customer meetings, a lot of demos, and having your feedback is, you know, it's truly important as a PM. Uh, to have access to. So you can always go into uh, the, the issues within GitHub for the, the, the repository for Zap and create a new entry where you can just say, you know, this is the one thing I, I will have in mind that it will help me a lot in my process. Detail as much as you can in that feature request or in that new requirement. And we'll, you know, evaluate the possibility of incorporating it within Zap. You know, look for all already existing issues if you want to just, you know, vote for what's already out there. And based upon that, you know, the number of likes we do have in a single feature, we can address if it's more urgent or less urgent to be able to implement it. So feedback is key. If you're not, if you don't give us your voice, we, we won't hurt them, basically. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, so hang on, let me just share my screen. I will now try and uh... guide you through this this process. Yeah. Basically. So, so um, basically, this is the Zap website. Um, so, I see rebranded as Zap by Checkmarks. Now, if you go to the community section, this is where we got a lot of information here, and one of the key places is the user group. So, it's a really great place to start. And one reason we often say to do this is we often get issues raised or we see people say, you know, I wish Zap did this. It's like, um, it already does. <laughs> we keep on getting requests for things we already handle. And this could be a problem with our documentation. You know, I completely understand that. But Zap is a big, complex project. So it does a lot of things already. Um, so if you're unsure about how to do something, 
the Zap user group is the place to start. Uh, but if we say on there, great suggestion, please raise an issue, or if you, you want to go straight there, um, then if we go down here, we will see the the, re, um, the, the full set of repos. We've got 47 there, uh, but you have a look at the, the main one, ZA proxy, and in there we've got issues. Now, we've actually got quite a few, um, 788, which is, yeah, it's, um, it's, Zap's been going for quite a while. But what we do is we keep an eye on the things that are that people care about most. And one way we can do that is you actually look at the thumbs up in the first um, comment. And that gives us the, the, the things that people, as far as we can see, most care about. So you can see the top one is actually persistent fuzzer settings. And the next one is Mac OS distributions, not from verified developer. Um, and the first one is from 2015. So, uh, but the thing is, this is the, these are the ones you voted for the most. And what you'll see is we've actually got this new backlog tag. Uh, and these are, as it says there, issues the core team think are higher priority and would like to work on at any given time. So this is what, these are the things that we think are important. So when I'm talking to Antero, we'll be like, okay, yeah, these are the things we think we should be doing. So if we haven't got, you know, obviously we'll have other, other inputs, but stuff coming from the core team is important. You know, we know what's going on and we know what um, things we think we need to do and we know we have to do. Um, so these are the kind of things we've tagged right now. And you'll see the persistent fuzzer settings and the Mac OS distribution. The two you've voted for the most are in that list. So at this stage, there's no promises when we're going to get any of these things done because there's a lot of things going on but we now have more people than ever to actually work on things. So um, so fingers crossed, things we'll actually be able to do things um, much more effectively and much quicker. Yeah, so what I can promise on my end is that I'm going to review all of these requests, try to assess what's more urgent in my perspective, also aligned with you know the feedback we have been getting from our Checkmarks customers or even not even customers, but potential customers. So what's being requested within the market itself, you know, what our competitors have and we don't, things like that. And I'll aggregate all of that data and address, okay, let's focus on what we can do uh, next year. So we are currently constructing the roadmap for 2025 and I'll consider everything. So the issues, your direct feedback, our customers' feedback, all will be grouped together in one single you know, source of truth and then address, you know, with our capabilities and with our, you know, resources, what we can do and what we'll focus on first. Right. So get in touch, get in touch for the user group, vote on issues, raise new issues. We do want to hear from you. You know, Zap is there for people to use. We want it to be as effective as possible. So please get in touch. I'll also start a... Um, thread on the Zap user group um, for this video and for feedback there. So please comment on that if you want to. But uh, yeah, get in touch and hope to hear from you soon. Likewise. See you guys. Thank you very much. Bye.